Okay, so we're looking at percent today, and we know that percent out of 100, so if you get 100%, it's perfect. It can be written as a fraction. So can someone give me an example of how a percent can be written as a fraction? Excellent. Example, 40 out of 100, what percent would that be? 40%. 40%. Good, so it can be written as a fraction. What else can you write a percent as? You can also write it as a decimal. Does anyone know what 40 out of 100 would be written as a decimal? Yep. Good. Zero decimal four zero. Excellent. Okay. You can use percent to calculate your test results. And you can use percent on a circle graph. Good. What might you show on a circle graph that would show your percent? Yeah, when you're looking at um, ingredients on the back of a package, sorry, not ingredients, like the uh, nutrition information, nutrition, there's a lot of information that uses percent with the nutrition info, tax, okay, money, there's taxes, what about if you go shopping, where would you see percentage? Sales. I heard someone say discount, good. Okay, you need to calculate, you need to use percent to calculate a sales, a discount, the tax. Okay, so we're gonna look at converting from a decimal to percent. Well, when you multiply by 100, what do you do with the decimal place? You move it to the right, how many times? One, two, because there's two zeros. So you end up at 64 decimal zero, which is just 64%. Okay, so to get from a decimal to a percent, all you need to do is multiply by 100. Let's try the next one together. So I'm going to move the decimal place two places to the right. One, two, it will end up here. What's the answer? What percentage is this, Carla? Good, 1.8%. Okay, you try the rest of them on your own. Okay, so we are multiplying each example by 100 to get the percentage. And there we have all the answers. Made with DoodleCast Pro.